மித்ரம் அண்ட் பந்துவோம் வெல்கம் டு சவுத் ஏஷியா மேப்ஸ் த இன்டலெக்சுவல் சாத்ரியா சேனல் எஜுகேஷன் சேனல் தட் பிரிங்ஸ் த சவுத் ஏஷியன் ஹெரிட்டேஜ் டு த ஆடியன்ஸ் இன் த ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் மேப்ஸ் ஐக்கன்ஸ் அண்ட் இமேஜஸ் அண்ட் ஐ ஆல்சோ போஸ்ட் அதர் சிமிலர் ரிலேட்டட் டாபிக்ஸ் ஆஃப் கன்சர்ன் டு ஜெனரல் பப்ளிக் அண்ட் Today, I, we are continuing our discussion about human ecology, human impasse, bottleneck century, overshoot, human predicament. That is essentially from the work of Dr. Cotton. His famous book, Overshoot, other book, Bottleneck, part 27. Today, we are comparing two paradigms, two paradigms. This is the Cornucopian paradigm, other is ecological paradigm. What is a paradigm? Paradigm is essentially a, dog, uh, a way of thinking, a particular way of thinking, a thought process and so on. It's a paradigm. This Cornucopian means Cornucopian is plenty here. I represented an icon. This is the planet Earth. Egypt is shown in red color here. That is exactly 1 million square kilometers. You can fit 150 countries in the planet Earth, the land mass surface area, not water bodies. This is the Cornucopian. That means the horn of a goat. that is a plenty like fruits vegetables food essentially a happy case scenario that is a cornucopia ecological again the same planet earth where we have it with the a green leaf and plants sur- surrounding it to represent a different paradigm and both of them revolve around around a central ecological principle that is this planet earth our habitat human habitat that is it is limited in nature that means it has a certain diameter and radius surface area and this limited nature of this global habitat imposes the limitations on the planet earth the amount of the oil it has the amount of coal it has the amount of water aquifers it has amount of the arable land it has the amount of the people human beings it can carry right now in 2022 there are 8 billion redundant human population on the earth 1800 at the time of battle of waterloo or so there was 1 billion now 8 billion this 8 billion perhaps it may reach 10 billion by 2050 it cannot become 100 billion there is a limit that is the basic ecological limitation this is the old paradigm the political leaders intellectuals social media opinion makers normally you are exposed to this way of thinking and today we are going to compare both of them and you will get a new perspective this cornucopian is a old paradigm this is ecological paradigm put forward by dr cotton is a new paradigm the old paradigm it disregards this basic principle ecological principle whereas the ecological paradigm accept that principle that is the major difference we will explore this little bit further and this is dr william cotton william junior professor emeritus from washington state university pullman western northwestern part of united states south of 49th parallel that is just separating canada and united states is monumental or considered to be very thought provoking pioneering book that i feel everybody should read in the planet earth especially the political leaders and the social workers if we accept the vocabulary and present it to the audience our way of looking at the planet earth and the human relations will be very different the sequel of that book is the bottleneck century 
humanity's impending impasse. And this is uh, my main YouTube channel, Dr. J. Reddy and uh, South Asia Maps, because this is uh, not a South Asian specific geography or history topic. I will put it directly in the playlist, human population or human ecology. There are, there are already around about 24 hours, so you can explore them. And if you are interested in other India-centric, Indology-centric topics, there are plenty of them, nearly 200 and plus, and varied regions from Punjab to Rajputana, Bengal, Indo-Gangetic Plains, Deccan, South India, and Bombay Presidency, Madras Presidency, and Partition of Bharat, and so many varied, diverse topics I covered in various playlists. You can directly go and look at them if you're interested. And previously, I talked about extensively part 25, a cornucopian paradigm. You see the part 25 that you can explore further. And the next, the 26th part of human ecology playlist, I talked about ecological paradigm. And now, currently in 27. This is the 27, uh, sorry, uh, these are the, I'm jumping around. 27 part, we are comparing these two together on a particular place so that audience can comprehend them better and have a better idea. That is the cornucopian paradigm, the world. When you see this, like cornucopia, I think world, when you see this, uh, the green leaves and plants you think the new ecological paradigm what are the basic principles is the <clears throat> we'll see the common ecology and see how these two paradigms differ e basic ecology all the life on the planet earth including microorganisms the plants the primates the mammals animals that is the plant kingdom and animal kingdom have a chemical basis of substances all our bodies are nothing but chemistry. It's like a biochemical components in our body wrapped around with the skin. Itself is a biochemical component. You can think like that. There is a chemical basis of substances our life. Then, organisms, when they live in the environment, they interact with other organisms in the environment. They interact with other organisms in the parasitic way or predatory way or symbiotic friendly way, that is a mutualistic way or antagonistic way. That means they interact with other organisms. They release the metabolites. Most of the time the metabolites are our sweat, our urine, our uh, the excretory product of digestive systems. All these are called metabolites. And they, when they interact, they change this planet. When they used to grow in a limited vat, and they finally produce alcohol and they change the habitat. Now, previously it was a good grape juice with plenty of carbohydrates and sugars. Now becomes a, and alcohol habitat change and destroy. Then they <clears throat> change the habitat and affect on other organisms. Humans are not exceptional to this. They are like any other organisms. The, I talked about the carrying capacity of the planet Earth. The number of the organisms are human in a limited area or a state or a province or a country or a planet Earth taking over of the entire land, most of the land by the humans from the competitors, other plants and animals and starting agriculture, drawing down deep into the Earth digging for the oil and coal natural gas improving the carrying capacity detritus life cycles that is the life cycles which are seasonal they have bloom the eruption of population and crash these are all principles i discussed before these are all ecological principles they apply to all the organism now how these two paradigms old paradigm new paradigm differ that's the very important Old paradigm disregard the carrying capacity concept, essentially social political concepts. Now, when you talk about the development, giving everybody high standard of living, the cars, luxurious thing, the internet, the cell phones, and the tablets, so many things, they disregard the. There is a limitation, the carrying capacity concept. How many people with what standard of living a land can support? World paradigm 
disregards it new paradigm accept these all ecological principles old paradigm doesn't pay any attention to the finiteness of the earth and new paradigm pays attention to the finiteness of the earth that means it is 36000 kilometers from singapore to singapore on equator that's the limit it acknowledges that the new one old paradigm doesn't see any difference between like taking over expanding the carrying capacity from our competitors drawing down further enhancing temporarily carrying capacity by digging the oil and coal and starting the industrial agriculture plenty of foods new economic niches social niches jobs positions roles so on old paradigm doesn't recognize that new paradigm does that <clears throat> the new pa old paradigm works for accelerated drawdown that means bring more roads more bridges bullet trains and so on go and find more oil more coal dig for it this accelerating the drawdown this is the human predicament people who work in the field scientists they're aware that you cannot do it now there are not many resources on the planet earth humans depleted most of the low hanging fruit means good quality coal oil natural gas now we do we have only mediocre or low quality one and our numbers are humongous when agriculture started there was only 8 million people that was 8000 BC you add 2000 years we are now 2025 or so that means in 10,000 years from 8 million people we are 8 billion people that means you added three zeros that is not a small number feeding 8 million and feeding 8 billion now most of the humans are homo colossuses they are energy consuming resource consuming gigantic human beings homo colossuses how many parts of the world africa india china and asia where the people were normal with low energy budgets low ecological footprint they're living now they're aspiring to become a medium or high level homo colossus that is the human predicament we are facing dr carton gives the practical suggestions so essentially we talked about the two paradigms the old cornucopian paradigm that is the new paradigm ecological paradigm what they accept this basic ecological laws the new one the old one disregards not aware of or rejects or doesn't pay attention to this basic ecological limitations that is the finiteness a limitedness of the planet earth that is our global habitat thank you very much hope these things give you a different perspective and if you like the presentations please consider subscribing our channel and bringing to your friends notice and see you later in other presentations this is dr jerry d at south asia map